Oh, I'll come back. Hey, you. Naturally, I'm aerodynamic. Ah, uh, it's not Dio though, isn't it? Rival and or rivals. I guess if it's multiplayer you have more rivals. I like that I have all these little metal pictures for having different numbers of stars. They don't actually have to do with anything, as far as I can tell, aside from I guess unlocking some pic some um, clothes. But I don't have like named ranks or anything, and the game doesn't tell me when I've actually acquired a new star picture or anything. This isn't really my preferred racing environment, to be honest. It's so flat, too. In fact, those for me are the most annoying races where you have to just, like, pump your stocks as... ...diligently as possible. As vigorously as possible. And there is actually a, an element of deciding when to pump the stocks versus when to crouch, which I think is something to learn that actually introduces a competitive and skill element. I don't know if I should have cut through the mill there or not, because that's thick snow that will slow me down. But that's probably the main um, mechanic here on deer. Do you follow the, the smooth path that you can go faster on, or do you cut through the, the rough stuff? There are definitely times where you want to do some pumping instead of just crouching. It's tempting to do a jump, but I realize that I probably shouldn't. And a nice straightaway at the end, but it just feels so nice just going fast in this game. Well, I got a nice lead. Just, there's like a certain kind of calm to it, actually, somewhat ironically, where you're just going fast over some long stretch of, of snow. I think the best of that was actually in, in the sequel on the mountain because of how much bigger that mountain was. So you could have massive slopes, you just flew down, but... Must sound like I really miss the mountain, and maybe I do. And he wants to race again over here. I'm not sure I'm going to agree right now, though. Let's head on down, Al, and see where that takes us, actually. jump here on the left. Why do you do this, people? Ah, people that just keep running into you. I feel like that's the main obstacle a lot of the time for me on these. That was my fault. I enjoy it, apparently. I just want to get a nice rank, but look how many people there are at some points. Oh, everything but not hitting people. Darn it. Alright. What else is there to do? Oh, I wanted to go to Campbell last episode. Animal guy. I don't think now is really the time to worry about that since I'll just immediately start looking for the animals if I hear about where they are. What was that that I was hearing? Alright. Off to Camel. I am amused that there's a side road on Camel. You can just go down. 
By the way, I would like to, to see some kind of event in this game. I don't know if there is one. Where you just go down the whole... Hello? The entire resort, the whole slope, or something like that. Hello? Tournament. If I don't know how moguls work, I shouldn't be in the tournament, right? B. I didn't know how moguls worked last time either, though, so... So I guess I have to repeat this every single time, even if I get a, a better score each time or something like that. The seagull, I think, fixed that by... Shoot. Don't have time for another trick. I think the sequel fixed that by just basing basing it off of what your score was, what your next ah objective would be. Darn it! That was r okay. Great. Well, I need to be, have at least be on everything is the thing. I'm saying to be fast for one. And not lose my balance all the time. As you got, remember, this game pays attention to what your worst is, not what your best is. Gotta be careful not to go over the top like that. There you go. What? What did I do wrong? Do I not turn enough or something? I'm turning as much as I can. Calm down there, Granny. Literally everything else is ass. H how do I turn enough? Ah, I can't... I can't turn con I, I can't turn constantly to begin with. It's really, really hard to turn really fast. I don't know what cons what it counts as a turn. This game is not very like the seagull. It's not very receptive sometimes to trying to do tricks. But how do I? I'm trying to do turns. I'm just not doing any. Hug. I can't keep control of myself either. I guess it was my guess is that it was still just turns. Balance too, but it was I just can't get enough turns in. That's the main thing. I guess I can do more turns well even when there aren't moguls. Of course, I'm, not, I'm doing fewer turns if I lose balance at some point, too. Okay, better. I'll see it. I like the, the camera focus effect, things get blurred out when they're not in focus. I mean, it doesn't really look very interesting when I'm on the mobiles, but... Yeah, the, the whole tricks component of this game isn't really that great, because you just do the best trick and that's it. <laughs> it's just turning. Do I have to do this more, though, just to... Uh... get, for instance, C this time, or not C, um, A this time. I want to see now, just out of curiosity. Because in the sequel you would actually skip stages that were score-based like this, including the moguls one, actually. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry for asking. 
This is not a good way to build confidence. Yeah, now just rank A. So I'll have to do this over and over again. Well, I'll I'll just do this A1 this time and then we can do it again later. Granny, that's that's not how you do tricks. Tricks in this game, man. Turns I can do too if those are balance. Duh. I'm not doing enough turns if I lose my balance, let alone my balance ranking. Rude. It's interesting that I find myself only being able to turn one way. S again, at least. I feel like if I didn't lose my balance the one time, that might have been an S+, plus actually. But that just means that we'll be capable of doing this again later. So I'll leave it at that. What next? I do actually have one particular thing I feel like doing right now, so we can go do that. Which means heading across here again. As I think it was over here. There are a few different places where this event was held, and I think it alternates or something. We are going to have to, at some point, go out and try to start getting better grades on each course, too. Which will depend on a few factors, namely not running into people. It is really annoying how much that happens. Alright. Zoom. I'm fast, hire me. and wolf. Oh, okay. I appreciate that she assumes I'm illiterate. Special salami. What's special about it? What? Rabbit. One. Wolf. Oh, that's an interesting combination of animals. They don't usually go together. Okay. I appreciate that somebody took their time to draw these these different Oh, it's where the the fox is. These different foods just for these individual events. Not too many people here this time, which is nice. I'm not, I'm not gonna be too ri risky and crazy, don't worry. I'm just gonna do a few backflips. Like that. Now he's all the way down rabbit. I have a fence like this where I can just fly on down the slopes. And this one's. I like that it's so much more freeform than. than the traditional races. Three is on the left and two on the right, so I'm guessing, yeah, one's on the far right. I don't think of them by number, admittedly. Even though I do have an idea of where each, each lift goes. Ding dong. Ding dong. And 
down wolf we go. Annoying little uphill segment here, and it's all on rough snow too. It's one of those annoying places where you have to just keep pumping the skis, and I hate having to do that. See, I, I expect that I would like Wolf more than I do. Same with, dude. Same with deer. Deer's just too narrow. That's all it is. It's up. You're not wearing anything, that's interesting. I mean, like, ski-wise. Is that unlockable in this game? Can you- I forgot that was a thing in the- in the sequel. You could actually not have skis and whatnot. Is that a thing in this game, too? Gouda. Gouda and pizza. Is that a thing people do? Or is this game just being silly? Party, dude, you're the only one here. Well, he, I guess he has the fox here with him. Pizza Fox. Sounds like a chain of some sort. Bye everyone.